Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to show you one of the things that my daughter and I do, especially this is the perfect time of the year to do it, especially if you have a beautiful garden bed or if you're just walking around and you see some beautiful wildflowers, now's the time to pick them. And what you could do is dry them up. I'm using a plate right now because all my other things are occupied, but you could pick up beautiful roses now you could either do the flower buds and let them dry that way or as you could tell these are the petals of my roses now these are like wild roses these are the ones that give you the rose hips and all you have to do is basically just break them apart and just lay them in a bowl you could stack them right on top of each other and when you walk by just give them a little toss and they'll dry up for you. Now, what, what can you do with these flowers? Well, I'm sure you've seen some of my dishes. When I present a dish to my family, I like to also add some flowers to it and it just makes your dish a little more appetizing. Now, these are the tiny filaments that hold the little pollen. You'll see bees buzzing around in there. Now, this one, you caught some rain, so it's a little brown on the end, so I might not use that. Uh, but you can also pull those off and they make such a beautiful addition to your dishes. It's almost like as if you're going to be using a saffron when you use those. Really, really nice. So I separate them and then, of course, they go in separate jars once they're done. Uh, this is a marigold. Now, the bottom part here is the seed of the marigold, so I won't put... I won't put those if I do pick it fresh and they're not black yeah see if they're not black like this then I put the whole thing otherwise I just snap that off and these all go to seed and I'll keep just the yellow just the yellow petals now pansies are edible there's so many flowers you can use that actually you could throw into your food and every flower has its taste, like the rose, of course, tastes like roses. Uh, the carnation uh, has kind of a peppery taste to it. There's some more seeds here. So every flower has a nice flavor to it. My daughter this morning made a batch of berry water and she added some of these dried up petals. If somebody comes over, uh, it's going to make a pretty drink. All you need is maybe some bubbly water and add some of those ice cubes. Uh, she basically made the berry water, then she added the petals and she put them into cubes. But there's so many flowers that you can use that make delicious and most beautiful, uh, especially if you're uh, presenting a plate to a guest. You don't have to worry about stacking them. All you have to do is once in a while walk by and just, just move them around and they'll dry up for you. Really, really simple to do. Like I have some in a vase here. So you can pick them when they're blooming, uh, when they're just opening up and you could dry them. And those are great in tea. So again, if you're not using them to decorate your dish, you could actually uh, make a nice tea for yourself. But I did want to show you that. And the peonies, by the way, are also edible. I brought some peonies in and now they're basically done. Look at the beautiful colors. So we'll add them to the plate here. And there's the beautiful little, I call this nature saffron. Look at that. It just makes such a beautiful way of decorating your food. There you go. Now some of these, well, you see there's a pollen. Now you got to be careful. If you have allergies, I would say maybe uh, stay away from uh, the part that carries the pollen and you don't have to wait till they dry if you make a nice salad all you have to do is take some and throw it in a salad really really nice or just decorate your plate look at all the beautiful beautiful pollen oh, I love it okay I love stuff like this it makes me happy and when your heart is happy it's just better for you okay so let me take this away 
I said I was going to put it on my other channel, but I'm going to do it here. So I'm going to just put these beautiful flowers away for now. And then Erica will take it apart for me and make some more edible goodness for us. See what I mean about reusing bags? My husband loves toast bread, so he buys the bread, but then we're stuck with these bags. Yes, they could go back into the recycle bin, but I try to reuse it till, like, I can't anymore. There's always plastic. Oh, I'm so tired of seeing plastic. Okay, so anyhow, I'm going to show you something. Erica and I were out taking Cheech for a walk. That's JJ. The Cheech is JJ. Okay, this is plantain. I put everything in one bag. But this year, you can use them in salads, especially when they're young. But otherwise, this is for medicinal. If you uh, cut yourself or you get a mosquito bite, you take one of these, of course. You're going to rinse it under some water, chew it up in your mouth, and then make a poultice. Uh, make a mush out of it and then apply it exactly where you either got stung Let it be a bee spider bite or even a scrape and I'm telling you your sore is going to heal in no time at all Now, how do you know it's a plantain? Uh, there's a tricky way uh, a way of checking is if you pull it right there You should see these like guitar strings you see it look at that that's how you know it's a plantain leaf look at that you see it almost like an elastic and that my dear is one of the best medicinal plants you can have and if you don't have it around your house I mean most guard most yards will will see these growing in their lawns unless you're weed killing but you could find this anywhere. If you look around when you're going for a walk, you're going to see plantain growing everywhere. And there's going to be even a point where you're going to see a shoot come up with all these little seeds. And if you cook those up, number one, they're high in omegas. But if you cook them up, it's like having baby corn. Now, I'm not sure if any, any of you know what this is. I'll put a picture for you. There's some nice big ones here. Look at this one. We were so lucky to come across these huge ones. Look how big this is. Look at the size of the leaf on this. Now, I haven't washed them yet. I had just shoved them in my refrigerator because I didn't have time yesterday. But this, my dear, is called free food. This, if anybody recognizes it, it's called lamb's quarter. This tastes just like spinach. You cook it up just like spinach. Now, I'm going to give it a good wash, and then I'm going to just make sure it dries up on its own, so I'll put it on paper. And then I'm going to take these, make bundles, and I am going to freeze it. And then, because I took just the tops of the plants, uh, even the little stems are edible. You could cook the whole thing, because I did take only the tops of these. Lamb's quarters. You'll see them everywhere. They grow wild everywhere. If you're in the city, they might be a little smaller. That's why when I saw these big ones, I went crazy. If you see them in the city, uh, sometimes you see them small like this, but they're just as good, guys. You take, pop them in your mouth. You can eat them while you're walking, or you could just bring them home and cook them up. Like spinach, really, really good. But look at the size that we found. These were like on mega juice. Free food. Again, I'm going to take this stuff and I'm going to make a dinner out of it. Delicious, delicious, delicious. If you're not sure what lamb's quarters looks like, because mine is a little floppy now, look it up. Lamb's quarter is delicious. It has even more benefits than spinach that you buy at the store. And this is nature's spinach. Give it a good wash and let it dry. You could blanch them first or you could just put them in the freezer and then cook them up. Now, uh, another way of knowing it's lamb's quarters is number one, it looks like it has almost like a goose foot leaf. It's lighter in the back than it is in the front. 
that's another way of telling and some of them you're going to see it has like this powdery white stuff on top and that's there's no problem with that that's just part of what the plant does I'm not sure if you can see these ones here you see how it has like a powdery film on top and it's usually the new ones but look at that I could just wipe it off or once you wash it it comes off but really really good for you and this is free my friends you don't have to pay a penny for this all you have to do is stand there and just pinch off the tops of these and bring them home cook them you could even put them raw in salads if you want so leave the ones at the bottom just pinch off the tops and bring them home and make a meal out of it that's another vegetable I don't have to buy and then again like I said there's somewhere in the middle of all of this I also picked up some plantain because I'll be making some medicine or maybe Eric will do it this time around but it's in here somewhere um, I'll be making some medicine uh, for either mosquito bites or for cuts or scrapes and that's going to be another addition to my home but there you go also now I'm going to put this aside because I want to wash it look how much I got I'm so happy and there's so much more I didn't even make a dent I did not make a dent oh here's my plantain they look kind of shriveled up but they're still gonna work because I'm gonna be pounding this down this is something else okay there you go <laughs> my plantain looks like it got a beating but it's still gonna work guys okay now remember the hostas I chopped them up and I bagged them and they go into the freezer I don't even cook them I just chopped them up and into the freezer they go when I'm making my chichina, I pull out a bag, defrost it, you could even run it under some hot water, and then throw it in your bowl, add your chickpea flour, whatever. If you're making a soup, grab one of these bags, throw it in your soup. I have these already in my freezer, ready for me to consume. And here's the stack that I picked yesterday. I find the more I pick, the more they go crazy. These are not uh, small ones. They're already open, but they're still... Oh, I missed one. Yeah, I'll have to clean that. Um, they're already big and open, but these are great for soups. So if you have it and you want to trim that bush of yours, these are the hostas. Put them in a basket after I wash them and I let them drip dry and then I cut them up and I put them in a bag so there you go beautiful hosta leaves that are edible you should try them at least in some soup you would never know that that's a hosta plant in Japan they plant them for food another thing that you can do that you probably have in your yard and it's gonna save you a couple of bucks my friend so there you go. I'm going to say I love you. I'm going to say thank you for listening to me, even though I sound like a ramble on half the time. But I just want to show you some of the things that I do. And it saves me some money, especially if you're going for a walk. You're already out there. You might as well pick some food that's free for you. Bring it home and make a nice dish. All right, guys, I love you. Take advantage, the summer is here, dry up a lot of these, and then over the summer and over the winter, you have beautiful, beautiful flower petals that you could throw in salads and impress people that come over your house for dinner. They're going to love it. So I'm going to see you in my next video, guys. Stay well, go out, enjoy life.